Alrighty guys, it's expo day. And my first stop was to get a coffee and the coffee place is closed, which is incredibly disappointing. And you know, it's just of course your local McDonald's, but turns out I didn't realize that my one opened at 6 a.m. So it's gonna be a long drive before I even get some caffeine into me. So that being said, I'm gonna hit the road. All right, happened on a 24 hour -y, so load it up. Let's go, let's hit the road. Oh, I'm excited, I'm pumped. just about here I'm under 400 meters away apparently I think I got a chucker right up here at the roundabout and then we should be pulling in and then yeah time to set up I think I'm going the right way I'm not sure now I'm not sure at all I think so I think so I recognize this we're gonna find out worst case I get lost and take a bit of a detour but what do we got? What do we got? Oh. Stop sign might help. Cross over here. I see a giant stadium. That's always a positive, right? That's always a good sign. I also see a burnt out car <laughs> in the middle of it. Check this out. Welcome to Illawarra. Nah, she's good down here. It's actually a very pretty neighborhood. I can see the stadium. I'm gonna start setting up. It's now 7 a.m. So I've got heaps of time to be able to set up and get everything on the go. Alright, so I'm all set up now, ready to go. Everybody else is kind of getting geared up. We're probably looking at about 8 a.m. at the moment. Just gone 8 a.m. I might walk around the reptile show next door, see if I can get some clips of all the reptiles that are over on show over there, because there's some awesome species and a lot of diversity. So let's go check this out next.
So I'm just here with Chris O'Donnell and he's just showing me this beautiful albino water python that is a, a hybrid you said? Yeah hybrid so it's been crossed with the olive, albino olive. Yep. Bred it back for the last couple of years and um, yeah we've got these guys now. It's so cool. It's, and are you going to try to like put more water python influence into them over time? Yeah so we're already back to 75% with the heads. Sweet. Um, and then yeah, hopefully we can get a bit more orange on them and they, they glow a bit more. Yeah, that belly's already coming up on it a little yeah. bit there. You can see that versus like an albino olive. That's definitely got a lot more influence there. That's such a unique animal, man. Yeah, thank you. Now, are you one of the first people to do this in Australia? Nah, so Marty Bahaja actually started this and I okay. sort of bought the, uh, the project off him a couple of years back. And yep. Yeah, from there. Picked it up and ran with it. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome, dude. So you got tons of pythons here at the moment, hey? So, yeah. you know, if anybody is interested in some pythons after the expo definitely make sure you hit up Chris because he's got a wide variety of anteresia in particular and black-headed pythons and all sorts and you're also doing enclosures I am so we've uh, just opened up a new PVC range so we'll yes, start seeing that a bit more available soon yep yeah. no, they look good man thank you oh good stuff I hope you have a great show you too bud appreciate it
So I'm here with Cam from Life with Dragons, and he's got these beautiful Bell's Face lace monitors. I'm gonna have to get right up yeah, close to this closer to face. them. So these are some of our Bell's guys. We do these every year. We usually average 50 plus eggs a year from these guys. We've got a few different trios on them. Uh, we've got some olive pythons here as well on the table today. Um, our main our main thing is going to be the bells, but yeah, our olives, you know, perfect entry level big python, the olive pythons are. Or if you're looking to get into a big monitor, they are a bit flighty, but we do tame them down a bit, so you see that. So they do take a little bit of work, so they're not for the most faint hearted of keepers out there. But we love the bells, and they are a really cool looking big monitor. And you'll see in the other part of this video, the big guy next door as well, which is the dad of these guys. And was it the big guy that gave you those scratches on your arm? Oh, uh, these scratches are from the little guys. <laughs> so everyone thinks that, uh, you know, lace monitor claws aren't too bad, but they're tree climbing animals. So. Yeah. Of course, they're going to be very, very scratchy. We like to file them down every now and then with got little dremels. Yep. I wouldn't recommend clipping them with like a dog or cat claw clipper. Yep. They're a little dremel. So that's the best thing to use on these little fellas. Man, what a gorgeous lizard. Thanks so much, man. I hope you have right, a great man. day and I oh, hope you enjoy the I'm expo. I we do. It's always good down here, guys. Catch yep. you. I've come to say good day to Darren from Morelia by Design. We've got a few snakes here today, Daz. Yeah, mate, sure do. There you go, Luke, all right? Yeah, good, mate, good. Hopefully we have a good show today, hey? I hope so. We normally get a good crowd down here at Illawarra, so it's always a good day. Yeah, I love this venue. It's nice, big and open. There's plenty of space. There's, what, 35 breeders or so by the looks of it today? Yeah, so the last few shows have been pretty big. Um, yeah. Even Penrith and uh, Stanhope Gardens was the most vendors they've had uh, in their history. Yeah, there you to, go. Up to 40 people vendoring, so it's good. It's good growth for the hobby. Yeah. And we've been blessed with the weather finally after a couple of torrential days of rain, floods everywhere. Yeah, and, a bit touch and go. Yeah, yeah, so it's nice. But yeah, you've got stacks of snakes here, lots of peppers. Yeah, plenty of stuff. Unfortunately, being the hoarder I am, I just can't keep everything, so <laughs> I have to... Uh, Sell a few. <laughs> that sounds familiar. I've, I've bit the bullet. I'm selling Gill and I today, so yeah, yeah, nice. Thirty of those are a bit too much. <laughs> um, yeah. The food bill gets a bit overwhelming sometimes. Yeah, it? the electricity for me is pretty killer. Yeah. Even, on, even on a small collection. Yeah, and my electricity bill is a major killer. Yep. Yeah, it's a lot. So, what have you got as like a couple of feature snakes here today that you're you're showing off or you're moving on? Uh, there's a couple, but uh, fortunately, a couple in shed. I've got a really nice caramel pepper jay, but unfortunately, he's uh, in shed today. Oh, that's right. You he's really that. nice. Yeah, a couple of the caramel peppers look quite nice. I had a really cracker one last week, but that's old. Yeah, so, yeah. and then, you know, I've, I've seen posts of people about um, pure stuff and all that sort of thing. So, yep. you know, a couple of pure albino, head albino Darwins that I've had for a while. You don't see those so, often? Yeah. No, I breed them every year, but you know, it's normally wholesale pet shop trade yeah. sort of thing. Yeah. And then um, some, some ghosts, some marbles, a couple of ants, a couple yep. of nice platinums. Yeah, those are stunning. Yeah, depends on which side of the fence you want to go. There's, you know, there's the uh, 
incomplete dominant versus recessive argument with the, the Platinum. So yeah. whether they're supers or not, talk to uh, Mr. Birch and um, he thinks they're recessive and yep. the others think they're incomplete dominant. So yeah. I've yet to make my mind up yet. Yeah. <laughs> it all goes above my head, mate. So yeah, yeah, yeah I'm that's well it. out of it now with the, all the mutations. But I, yeah. I do love looking at all the colour patterns and stuff. Yeah, some stuff. Oh, this guy up here is a really nice uh, stripe. Pepper, oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, that's a cool. Bit different from the rest. Yep. Yeah, good stuff. Oh, mate, well, I hope you have a killer show. Yeah, thanks. And best, best of luck. And um, yeah, yeah, hopefully, you move a few snakes on and say good day to a few people, eh? No worries, we'll do. Take it easy. See you, everyone. I'm here with Pete from Colourful Critters. Hi guys, how are you going? Uh, it's good to see you today, Pete. You're regular at this show, aren't you? Always. Yep. I love the Illawarra. I love yeah. the couple of hour drive. But I mean, make it every year. It's a great place, great opportunity, and great community down here. So yeah, we always make the opportunity to get down here. It's definitely an awesome society. Yes. And you've got tons and tons of pythons with you today. Yeah. Lots of anteresia as per usual. Yeah, the dirt snake king, right? Yeah, none of them look that dirty to me anymore. Uh, no, it's, things have changed in the last 20 odd years for dirt snakes. I mean, it's looking pretty good, right? Yeah. With all the colours that the carpet bike and guys have got, and probably a lot more cool stuff. I mean, some of the cool stuff that we're starting to see, and I guess I'm going to probably take over a little bit here. Go for things it. like this, the mosaics, you know, these, these are the next level cool stuff. Now, this is Pinto, Pinto by name, nothing else. Uh, the mosaic jeans, just one of those jeans at the moment. Really don't know what's happening. Um, Steve Carruthers is really doing some amazing work with these guys. He's really leading the way. He was the first to pump a few out and consistently pump a few out. So awesome! I, I think that's looking pretty cool. Um, the albino stuff has been one of those things. Been a bit of a pain in my bum for many, many years. You're but nailing it now, though, right? I'm, I'm, I'm all over it. I think I think I've sort of lined out all the kinks. I like to call it. Yep. Um, but you know, here's a couple of the albino stuff that we're working with or starting to produce now. So. You know, combination stuff. This is uh, so I put the albinos into the the Tableland Max, which are a big, strong, robust animal, and we're getting starting to get some of these bright oranges coming through now. Wow. Um, basically, it's got no, it's got a dorsal sort of stripe, but because it's the albino, right, sucks all the colour all the way um, Then we got this guy here. This guy here is a double visual, so that's a platinum albino. Um, so basically, for those people that don't know, it's taking one of these guys, the platinum. Put an albino together, you produce a bunch of babies, put those babies together, and then hopefully, hopefully, you get the double visual. That's and, really um, cool. Yeah, that's, that's next level, as you can see when you compare them to the albinos. Yeah. It's got a lot more sort of yellows and creams and sort of more of that um, maroon sort of colours. Um, and like I say, with the albino stuff, we're really working hard with that, trying to stabilise it and make really good, strong animals. And um, we're getting some really good you know, colours and patterns starting to come out, just like this guy. So that's sort of a typical blonde. Um, if you compare it to a blonde, which we have down the back here, um, you start to see those patterns, you know, uh, starting to come out through here with the sort of the darker purples and lavenders and stuff. So, yeah, it's, it's been a labour of love. <laughs> a lot of time, energy and a lot of lessons learnt, obviously. And, um, we just put these in here to keep them a little bit chilled out. Albinos, you know, don't have any melon in the eye, so they're a little bit more freaked out by movement and light. Um, yep. But just with the plain albino stuff, I think we're really doing some great stuff with there. And um, that's where we're really pushing, trying to make these guys more popular. Small snakes, right? Small snakes, Small 100%. snakes fill that niche. Um, and I mean, at the end of the day, most people start off as a beginner snake. Yep. People say that, and it's not an insult, that's exactly what it is. This is what will probably get you into the hobby. Yep. Um, and then we can work our way up. And imagine starting off with olives. You know, great snakes when they're big, but when they're small, can be a little bit sketch. Not to mention that everyone's living in smaller places generally these days too, so room's a bit of a priority. Yeah, the price, the price of uh, keeping is starting to become more difficult to justify. Food, accommodation, electricity, electricity, electricity. Yeah. The, the demon for all of us. Yeah. Um, the initial animal probably isn't as much, but the rest of it really catches up with you quickly. Yeah. Oh, well, so, thanks for jumping on, Peter. No I uh, you know, hope you have a good show and make a few sales and talk to a few people. Awesome. Thanks, Ian. Legend.
So I'm here with Alec and Jesse from Dreamtime Dragons and Serpents and they've got a stack of beauties today. How's it going fellas? Yeah, good, good. Um, it's going to be hopefully a good day, fingers crossed. Yeah. But I'm Jesse, that's Alec and my wife is just behind the table. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Dreamtime Dragons and Serpents and if you ever need any beauties in the future or anything, just yeah. let's come. Yeah, you got stacks of them here today. Hopefully, you sell a few ones to some reptile keepers that are really interested. These guys are all good size too, hey? Yeah, yeah. Well, these guys are only around that, I'd say, ten week mark, so they're around two and a half months old. Yep. Um, two and a half months old, and then these guys are around the oh, seven, eight weeks, roughly, give or take. Yep. And then we've got another clutch down there that's about two and a half months old as well. And we got a nice, stunning typo just over the in here. Yeah, sick. That's a good looking lizard. I'm not much of a beardy guy myself. Like, I love him. But I'm not a big mutation kind of beardy guy myself. But you've yeah. got some good looking lizards well, here. He's a visual hypo, so. There's some, yeah, there's some nice um, high yellows and orange and stuff like that. So. Yeah, sick. Uh, yeah. Normal scales. Nice blue bar in there as well. Nice red lines, orange lines coming through. Oh, that's an awesome looking beauty. Nice, big, robust. But yeah, he's three months someone, old, so. That's going to make somebody a very happy pet. <laughs> Look at that, beautiful tail. It's nice and chunky, yeah. No nips. Oh, good stuff, guys. Well, I hope you guys have a cracker day. Hopefully, you sell a bunch of animals on. And yeah, make sure you go and follow these guys on all their social media. Hey guys, I'm here with Jesse from Jesse's Wildlife on Instagram. Man, your Instagram's going off at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, it's doing all right. Yeah, been out there flipping snakes left, right, and center, <laughs> yeah. and making yeah. awesome reels. But yeah, guys, if you don't know Jesse, make sure you go and follow him on Instagram. He's absolutely blowing up, and he's got some awesome herping stuff out there. Jesse's Wildlife on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Yeah, you're on YouTube too. I yeah. forgot about that. You're doing shorts and stuff on yeah. there. Yeah, it's not going too well, but oh, you've got to start somewhere. Hopefully, down the track. Yeah, and you're yeah. off to Asia? Yep, in two weeks. Uh, that's it. Yeah, should be good. That'll be a killer trip. So yeah. yeah, make sure you go and follow him because uh, there's going to be heaps of content from that. Yeah, I lots. Yeah, yeah, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Oh, all safe travels, man. Yeah. Hopefully you don't get nailed by any yeah. skin yeah. scrub over there. <laughs> that wouldn't be good out there. <laughs> nah, I would hate to get stuck in one of those hospitals. Uh, don't even get me started. <laughs> oh, too easy, man. Good to see you. Yeah, you too. Enjoy the expo. Thank you. All right, here we go. Doors are open. Game time. Hey guys, I'm here with Josh from Newbies Wildlife. How's it going? This is a, a guy that started up a very new herping channel, but man, the quality is insane. You guys have got to go and check him out over on YouTube. Make sure to give him the subscription. Where have you been? You've been Western New South Wales? Yeah, we've just been to Broken Hill. That's coming out at the moment. That's we've it. just been out into the Mallee, out Lake Cargelligo, Hilson, all that country. Down in the Grampians. So there's a few videos coming out soon. That's yeah. mad, man. I can't wait to watch these things because you guys know me, I like getting out in the scrub too. So make sure you go and subscribe to Josh's channel. 
Newbies Wildlife. Yeah? That's it. And then you're on, where are you at? You're just on YouTube, but are you doing Instagram? Yeah, and YouTube, and stuff? Instagram, Facebook. All yeah. the usual stuff. TikTok doesn't like me, so. <laughs> Nobody likes TikTok. No, I don't no, like TikTok. It. I don't understand it. I'm too old for that crap. Alrighty, man. Well, yeah, thanks no, for the it. Good no, to see you. Thank you. And yeah, guys, make sure to sub. Sweet. Expo's doing well so far. Just moved on a little Tristus, which has covered my costs for the day, so I'm stoked about that. I'm meeting heaps of people that we can, uh, you know, talk about some lizards and stuff, which is always good fun. And uh, yeah, grabbed a couple of selfies with a few people. So yeah, stoked to meet a few new fans and stuff like that. But yeah, man, it's a it's a good expo. A little bit warm at the moment, but the aircon's kicking on. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll get my table minded shortly, and I'll go for a bit more of a wander and interview a few more people. Hey guys, I'm here with Joe from the Illawarra Herb Society. How do you think this is going today? It's been insane. They've had a lot of people through. It's been really, really packed all day. Yeah, which is awesome because there's been a great turnout, right? Yeah, there's been so many kids, which is fantastic. Watching the kids come through, really, really excited about seeing the snakes and everything. It's, it's fantastic. Yeah, and there's been awesome variety in the reptile show as well, as well as all the breeders have actually pretty good variety this year really good variety of, of both from the breeder side and from this side so we had um, 87 animals in the show Whoa. so uh, a lace monitor a bell's face lace monitor won best in show for the adult section this year we did a chill junior section as well best in show yep um i think that was an aki that won that so it was two oh, cool. monitors that won this year so that was really good should have entered a gill on the few monitors down there yeah, there's, down there's quite did, a few i did look at the bells and i was like Probably. It's a pretty decent, it's a pretty decent animal. On so. your cam. And there's yeah. young ones down here for sale, so it's like... Yeah, I've got cam to show off a bunch of the young ones too, yeah. so that's really good. Um, but yeah, all in all, this turnout's fantastic, Joe. Yeah. It's um, well done. Yeah. A lot of work. We've still got mm, a couple of hours still left to go, and yep. yeah, hopefully it's all, it just hasn't died off. No, it's been very consistent. It's very busy. I just had to pull Joe out of the ticket booth essentially to even just get this couple of minutes of footage but I wanted to make sure that you guys saw the face of this event as well as all the volunteers here that have put in so many hours of helping. We couldn't and do it. Couldn't do it without the no volunteers. Way. So we were one, here all day yesterday setting up um, and we'll be here until about seven, six, seven o'clock tonight packing down and then dropping it all back to storage. And that's exactly right. Like I might go home at 3 p.m. or thereabouts say thanks Scott for the great days and these poor buggers are here cleaning up the table that I left and yeah. stuff. Well, I'll give you a hand for a bit just to oh, that'd, that'd be really nice, thank yeah, you. Might do that. <laughs> Get a couple of tables away at least for you. Yeah. But yeah guys, this is an amazing show and it's all because of the Illawarra Herb Society that these guys have actually put this show on. Uh, I'm going to leave it there with you to get you thank back you. to your job. Yeah. I need to go grab a t-shirt though. Okay, awesome. What, one of those t-shirts down there, the Illawarra yeah, yeah. ones? The Illawarra ones. I don't I think there's many left. I know, that's why I need yeah. to grab one. I've already lost the knot of that, so <laughs> I'm out of that. But. Anyway, I'll do a couple quick pans, and we'll go to the shirt. Hey guys, I'm here with Michael and Kai from Extreme Herping over on YouTube. You should make sure you subscribe to them if you do enjoy herping videos. Guys, you guys have been pumping out some awesome videos lately, hey? Yeah, it's been a good season. Uh, we've got a few trips done this season, and um, even though we weren't together, uh, we still, like, uh, he went to North yeah. Queensland, yeah. Like, I went to Central Australia, we covered like, a good we went to like half different continent. aspects of yeah. different places. We covered like half, half the continent, but um, yeah, it's been good, some pretty cool snakes as well, like, like you got green tree pythons and collect snakes from him, and then, like, you know, taipans and... That's right, you got the inland. Yeah, we've got the inland. We've both got the inland. And Branties. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, we've got so we're cool kind of... He's getting stuff that I wanted to find and I'm getting stuff that he wanted to find, so it was like... We're going to have to swap roles here, yeah. or, you know, go for another couple of trips together. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Try to go in the it's hard to yeah. team. We get time off over the kids' school holidays and stuff, yeah. and he yeah. has to work, so... Yeah. We get to pump out two lots of content. So Which is not bad. It works. It works yeah. in the end, so... Well, it's a bit more content, you spread yourself a bit further. And, yeah, yeah, that's you know, right. It's all good fun. Yeah. We are actually all hoping to do a trip together back to the spot where I found Miguel and I with Fryzy, and of course with Fryzy, you wouldn't do it without the man himself. Uh, so yeah, we're hoping to do that. Hopefully in October, we'll go to the plan. Yes. Yeah. yeah maybe Hopefully. I'll, I need to sell a few more lizards to pay for some <laughs> yeah. plane tickets. Oh, yeah, tell me about it. Work hard, work hard. Yeah, yeah that's but it. Still artists, please. Yes, yeah. yeah. I need. Well, I need to. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I need to take off my dog tails. So, yeah. Yeah. 
He was annoyed with that one. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I think it's pretty annoyed when I pulled that Gil and I out of the yes, spot. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh. Both same spots. Try here and try there. And then he's like, oh, you didn't look very hard. Yeah. <laughs> I was so angry. Yeah. Yeah. If you don't know, Herpes love staring the hell out of each other. So it's always good fun. Yeah. Yes. It's always good fun. But guys, make sure you go and subscribe to Extreme Herping on YouTube. I'll try to make sure that I've got links for everybody in the description. I'll do my best anyway. But otherwise, just do a simple search, Extreme Herping, and follow Michael and Kai. Thank you. Well everyone, I did make it back home safely and I got a new shirt. Thank you to the Illawarra Reptile Society. Man, what an absolutely stellar day. I'm absolutely belted tired. But that being said, I had an absolute ball. It was awesome to meet a whole bunch of new faces, people that I've talked to over the internet for ages now. It was awesome to meet a whole bunch of kids that have been watching the YouTube channel as well. It was just a stellar day put on by the Herp Society down there, the Illawarra Reptile Society. Man, I'm happy to get behind this society. It is such a good crowd of people down there and they do a fantastic job of an event. Like that event was just absolutely awesome. I hope everybody, you know, had a killer day down there. I hope the reptile breeders did well selling their wares. I will say a massive thank you to everyone that jumped on camera as well and who wasn't too shy. And you know, it's not for everybody, so I completely understand that. Uh, so, you know, thanks to everyone that did jump uh, on camera and just have a quick little chat. I'm sure anybody that's watching these videos back and stuff will get a good kick out of that. So with all that being said, until next time guys, Make sure you take care and I'll catch you then.